So a lot of users, uh, not just newcomers, but a lot of users are already using BOS for a while, uh, having are having struggles with, uh, are struggling on how to how to make this uh, simple button stand a little bit more. How how do I add a little extra features to this battery, uh, to this uh, button? So to do that, I'm going to be uh, enabling form. So basically, what I'm going to do is uh, this button would do a couple more things, not just change. Uh, current status, uh, current uh, value of the battery. Um, I wanted to, this this button to have additional features. Uh, just, uh, this is gonna be a very, very simple, very quick uh, way to basically improve your visualization drastically. So to do that, I'm gonna create another control theme. So it needs to be control. And let's say form panel. This is gonna be the name of the frame. So this created a blank frame. Uh, which, I'm, which I'm now going to fill in with additional features for that button. Um, I am going to add a couple of new variables. Let's say on and off. This is going to be an on and off button. Uh, let's say it's display to current value. And let's say set value. Set value. Now I can use this blank form that I created at the little frame. And I can simply drag and drop again uh, these values into the frame. Set value and display current value. And now if I go to the button, I select the button, I enable form, set to true, and I now can select uh, this form that, I, that I've just created. So if I do that, and I could go on the client side, I'll wait for it for refresh. So now if I, if I simply click on the button, I can still control the, the battery. So everything is still the same. But if I click and hold, it will now open, uh, open this additional uh, form that I just created. So you can just have use the same button to do multiple things. Uh, this is very simple, like I said, a very simple way to add a little additional uh, features to the, to the button. Uh, I can also create, let's say, a simple program task uh, set the trigger to, let's say, when on and off changes the value. So I can also show you a little bit more about how the uh, programming and tasks are done. So I just set a simple trigger when the on and off changes value. Then I say if on equals true. So when the on and off button is true, then we can set the value of our battery, let's say, 200. And let's ask if on and off is false, set the value of our battery to 20. So this is now running on back, in background. Now if I go back on the client side, if the client chooses to press the button and press the on and off uh, button to on, as you can see the battery is now at 100%. And if, if the client uh, turns off the battery, let's say the, the battery will now turn to 20%. So uh, a couple of new steps just to add in, and you can get a lot of greater depth to the visualization, to the to the uh, to the buttons, and so on. Uh, we just by basically adding uh, this form. It's very simple, again, very easy to use. Mm -hmm.